Hello everyone, this is Vijan and welcome to my course on the Selenium with Cucumber Framework. Throughout this course, I'm going to talk about different Cucumber concepts. We are also going to look at how you can set up your uh, Selenium with Cucumber Framework, right? We'll talk about different framework concepts which we'll be using during this whole video course. Then um, we'll talk about um, how you can improve your complete framework with the help of Cucumber, right? When you are working with an automation tool called Selenium. You can also follow me on Twitter at ScriptQA. So um, in this first video, uh, we are going to talk about a basic introduction to BDD. What are the BDD concepts and the what is Cucumber, right? So we'll have a look at the basic concepts of BDD and Cucumber. So let's get started. Beginning with what is BDD, right? So BDD is also known as behavior driven development. Now, uh, it is widely popular as a very popular agile software development process, right? So it has got a set of principles through which it can set a process uh, which a team can follow and uh, they can achieve uh, more bet better quality and uh, better agility when during the complete software development process, right? Now, the most important part of BDD is it encourages team collaboration. Now, how does it do that? So in BDD, uh, you write your specifications in the form of feature files, right? And use uh, basically team uses a very simple domain specific language, uh, which is pretty similar to English and can be understood throughout the team no matter if it is a business stakeholder, like a product owner or the client or be it a developer or a tester, right? So everybody can understand the language which is used to write the business specifications, right? Now, if the business specifications are being written by a product owner, then obviously the team will have a better clarity and the product can be developed uh, in a better way, right? Or it can be delivered in the uh, best format, in the best quality, okay? So that's how you collaborate. Everybody can collaborate within the team and can deliver a perfect product, right? It's inherited from a earlier, earlier framework called TDD, right? So that was for test-driven development. It is also a very popular um, development process which is being followed which is followed by development teams right so in this developers first write uh, uh, the test not the code right they first write a, a test for the code to fail and then they write code to fix it right so that's how they build the product so that's the whole purpose of test driven development. Now, some of the principles are borrowed from test driven development to build this behavior driven development where we write feature files and then we write the code uh, to run those feature files. Okay. So this is a basic introduction to BDD. Now in market, there are lots and lots of BDD tools. Among them, the most popular ones are these, like you have Cucumber, you have uh, JBehave, which is built for mostly Java applications, then Specflow, which is mostly used for .NET, and Jasmine, which is used for JavaScript. Right? So these are some of the most popular BDD tools. And now we are going to look at Cucumber, which is one of the most popular BDD frameworks, uh, which is used across the industry, right? So, Talking about Cucumber, right? Uh, it is a BDD framework or uh, some people call it a tool as well. It has got some components, right? Which work together very uh, beautifully to give you a complete framework. Now, the most important and most beautiful uh, part of Cucumber, it uses the domain specific language as which is being used inside Cucumber is Gherkin. Now, Gherkin, it's a language, right? Which is written, uh, which is written to write, uh, which is written to uh, kind of specify your business requirements, okay? Now, the specialty of Gherkin language is it's very much or mostly similar to English. 
if you write something in the gherkin language anybody looking at the file can understand what's going on right what are the different steps and it's crystal clear uh, even if a business uh, owner or a client is reading those specifications right as I, as I was talking about the components of Cucumber, right? So they have feature files, they have step definitions and test runner. So in the next slide, I will um, show you how these different files look like and how they work together, right? Now, in terms of language, you can obviously write it in different languages, right? So you can write it in Java, JavaScript, Python, and more uh, also could have been introduced while uh, I'm making this video, right? Now it can be easily integrated with automation tools like Selenium. And that's the whole purpose. We are looking at the Cucumber framework, right? Because we want to integrate this framework with Selenium, which is our automation tool. Now, what are the advantages it brings when you, um, when you integrate it with a tool called Selenium, which has already got its own functionality, right? So the first big advantage is obviously um it provides you with a complete framework right so you can build your selenium project in the base of a framework where you have your feature files at one place which will act as the business specifications then you will have a step definition files which will act as the uh, reusable functions right behind the feature file and then you have you'll have a runner file which will control the complete execution now these are different parts of the framework right then you can apply other um, other logics or other uh, other design patterns like page object model page factory um, you can also integrate it with popular test frameworks like test ng or j unit so this will kind of complete your uh, whole framework, right? When you are building any project or any automation, this will give you a very good platform to build your complete framework, right? And on top of that, it gives you with nice reporting feature, which is inbuilt in Cucumber. So these are the advantages which you get when you um, kind of integrate your Cucumber framework with Selenium, okay? So um, let's talk about the components in little bit detail. As I said, there are three major, major components of Cucumber. One is the feature files, one is step definitions, and the third is test runner. Now all of this work in conjunction, right, to build and run your complete project, okay? So as I said, uh, the feature file, uh, it contains the business specifications, which is written in the Gherkin language. Okay, so the format is this. It's a pretty simple format. You describe your feature file um, at the top and then you define your scenario. Now that could be um, number of scenarios in single feature file. And then there could be number of feature files depending on the functionality or pages of your application. Okay, so this is the format. You write the feature, you write the scenario description, and then you write the steps. Now this is where the Gherkin language comes into the picture, right? So the steps are written in given and when then format, right? So it's in a sequence, right? So if you take an example of Gmail page, you log in with a valid username and password, that's the scenario. So the first step is you enter valid username, right? And you entered a password. So that's our two steps given and, and user enters a password. And then when you click on a submit button, then the uh, inbox page is displayed, right? So as you can see, I'm just talking in English. Um, I'm taking you through the whole scenario in English and that's how it looks like in our feature file. So it's so simple to kind of correlate what is the actual scenario and what we have written here. So the business can easily understand or anybody in the team can easily understand what's going on in this feature, right? So that's how you write your scenario and that's how you write your feature file. Now, it's not just enough to write the feature file. You also need the logic or the code behind this to run, right? So that's, uh, that's where step definitions comes into the picture. It's a Java file. Now here you will have different annotations 
for given when and then whatever you use uh, you can easily generate a step definition file from any id right or you can write your own also so you need to use this annotations and then you need to uh, you can either use regular expressions inside the string or you can directly give the string as the step name right so given user enter valid username that's our step and that's what we have given that's how uh, these two feature file and step definitions are interlinked right so when you when this feature file is called it will run the step definition file and it will run the steps right so we'll have four different steps given and when then right in similar format and then we will have four different reusable methods right for one for enter username one for valid enter password one for clicking submit button and one for uh, validating the inbox page right so four different methods and four different annotations and that's how you build your step definition file okay now coming to uh, the third component uh, which is the entry point of the cucumber framework execution right so this is where the executions begins which is called the test runner or java now obviously the names are not fixed here right you can give any name um, you can give it runner or java test runner or java or anything it doesn't matter so by default it's a, it is a j unit um, it's a j unit uh, it uses the j unit framework within that but you can also convert it into a test ng um, into test ng file right so we will see that in our later videos how you can use test ng with cucumber but uh, this format is basically for j unit right now um, whenever it it gives you this cucumber options which is a kind of annotation inside this you can define your plugins for reporting purpose right you can define a features um, a feature stack where it you can you have to pass the path of your feature files so wherever it is you need to just path the path and then you can also pass the path of your step definition files using the glow option and then you can use tax option to decide which test case you want to execute which you don't want to execute right so whatever tags you provide here only those test cases will be run so we'll see how you can do that uh, in the later videos and then uh, the class name right so public class test runner that can be empty you don't need to specify anything here so that's the basic format of a test runner or java now if you go and create a project and put these three things you can start running cucumber immediately you don't need anything else right so obviously um, the selenium web driver api will be there you need to um, integrate selenium because that's our automation through which we are running our automation right but this is the framework the cucumber framework which can be integrated with selenium now how to do that and how to build your project we'll see that all in our later videos so um keep joining uh, i mean uh, join in for my next video where we'll be talking about how you can start building your project how you can integrate selenium with cucumber and throughout this project after you complete this project you will have a complete understanding of the cucumber framework how it works and uh, how best you can use it to integrate that into your automation so that you can build a complete framework uh, a bdd framework from your using selenium and cucumber okay so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video hope you enjoyed it keep um, keep following me on my youtube channel qscript and see you in the next video